guys, it's Bethany. It's time for update number 11 for my Pan That palette. There's only a few more weeks left of 2016, which is insane. My son Jackson is almost six months old, which is really insane. I just, oh, this year is going by so fast. Not gonna lie, pretty excited to be coming to a finish with these three little mini palettes and excited to kind of decide what I'm gonna do for 2017. I may pick a few more of these smaller palettes. I may do singles. I might do just another, just, you know, one solid palette and try to use up the entire palette. I'm kind of toying with some ideas right now, but we'll jump into the progress. I didn't use any shadows up completely this month, um, but we're getting close and hopefully in the next few weeks I will have seen a lot more progress. So we have the MAC Intriguing Scarlet palette. What was the most progress in this month was really extending again more of the pan in these two shadows. I'm using both of them today as well as that cranberry shade. Hopefully in the picture you guys are going to be able to see that there is quite a dip in the cranberry. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to hit pan by the end of 2016 for that. I've been using this really gorgeous green quite a bit, but it hardly looks like it at all. So we'll see where I'm at. I might just back to MAC this at the end of the year. I'm not going to lie. It's quite old and I'm happy with any of the progress that I've done. So I might just kind of leave it as it is after this last few weeks of using those shadows. And as usual, I will show all of the pictures up to date of every single month's progress. Next we have the Maybelline Pink Punch Palette. I really was hoping that I'd have this purple shade done by this update, but I haven't. But I've been using it almost every single day. There's only a little bit left. I will totally have this done here in the next few weeks. Um, but I was really just kind of shaving off the top for the last few weeks. And now I'm kind of more trying to move towards the edge. So not very much left. I think that if I really make a effort to use this almost every single day. I will have it done very soon. Really past the halfway mark, I have got probably like a fourth of it left. Last but not least is the Black Cab Palette by Rimmel. This I was hoping to have a few more of those like smaller shades completely done, but I did make a dent in all three of them. I am going to really make an effort to complete those three by the end of 2016, and then I did complete one-fourth of that silver shade, which is quite a task. I was hoping to have two of those little areas done, but I don't think that's going to happen because it is such a pigmented shadow, but I'm really happy at where I finally was able to get with that shadow. I think that if I had incorporated the tips and the tricks that I've been doing for that shade from like the mid year point to now, I would have had a significant amount of it done. But for the first like six, seven months, I hardly touched that shadow at all. And so now I'm kind of seeing the results of that now, but really happy with where I'm at. Again, no matter where I'm at with kind of these shadows, I may create another shadow out of these, but they might just be retired after this project pan. Once you use shadows for an entire year, you're kind of over it. So, you know, there's only a little 
sliver of these shadows and I have so many beautiful colors in my collection that I'd much rather kind of get my use out of. At the end of the year, probably the first week in January, I will be posting the finale for this project pan and then I will also do a video doing the introduction to my 2017 pan that palette as well. So look forward to that. I will also be doing my 2016 makeup use up finale here in the next few weeks too. So excited about that. My um, crossing six off my Christmas list and probably my Urban Decay project pan will all be coming to an end here by the end of the year. So you'll be seeing lots of finales coming your way very soon and lots of introductions coming in January. I hope you guys are doing amazing with your project pans and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!